Let's move on. OK, so what, this is related to the following. Solving optimization problem, because to say that everything's an optimization problem is just a stupid tautology. So it all comes down to this. Um, how do you solve them? Well, it turns out solving this general optimization, it's really hard. Um, and basically, at, in general, I think it's fair to say it just can't be done. I can write down shockingly simple optimization problems. And you can't solve it. And it's very, very likely no one else can. OK? So or if you have a background in algorithm complexity, I, I can write down very innocent looking optimization problems, and they'll be NP hard. OK? So, um, so what do people do about it? Well, there's a couple of ways to do about it. Uh, yes? NP hard. What do I mean by yeah. NP hard? Uh, what does it stand for? Oh, uh, sorry, non-deterministic polynomial time. OK? okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, can, you take at least two quarters on this in a computer science class. So I'm going to give you the 15-second version, and sure. people will be, you know, I don't know, uh, ro rolling their eyes and all that. So I'll, I'll tell you about it from a working perspective, what it, what, what it means. So I think in the 70s, uh, people identified a bunch of a bunch of problems that so far no one had figured out a good polynomial time algorithm for solving. Okay, polynomial time means, okay, it's, I'm over 15 seconds now, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, so polynomial time means means as an algorithm where you you the problem comes in, you measure the size, for example, by the number of bits required to describe the. Have you already had all this material? You're shaking your head. Okay, fine. Okay, because um, then I could be way fast. Um, so you you measure by the number of bits um, you know required to describe the data. And then you look at the number of operations you have to do. And if you can bound that by a polynomial, uh, then you'd say, well, that's polynomial time. Now, bear in mind, I'm compressing a 10-week course to about 14 seconds. So that means some of the details I'm going to have to gloss over. OK, so okay, so, that's, uh, that, so there were a bunch of problems where people just didn't you know, like the famous one would be traveling salesman problem. OK, and no, you know, no one had found a polynomial time method. OK, so, so someone said, well, I don't know, a guy named Cook maybe, or I don't know the history, because I don't. I, Anyway, so did the following. Um, he actually started, he cataloged like a whole bunch of problems and said, look, you know what? If you can solve sort of any of these, um, then if you, if you make a method for solving that, I can make a reduction. I can take your problem and map it to this. And with that, I could solve, for example, the traveling salesman problem. Okay? So then you could have had an intelligent way of saying two problems are just one is as hard as the other, or one is more hard. Okay. NP hard means, and this is really, people are going to cringe if they actually have a background in this. It means it's at least as hard as a whole bunch, a catalog of very hard, of problems thought to be very hard, because there's an asterisk, which I have to give. Um, OK, so. So, so the transformation is like you're a prototypical. Error. That's a prototype. That's your, proto that's your prototype. So basically, and I mean, what I'm saying is actually not true, but as a working definition of what it yeah. means. For, for your purposes, this is going to be fine. Um, it means the problem is at least as hard as, for example, traveling salesman. And let's just leave it that way. Now, here's, let me tell you what that means. By the way, it is not known that these things cannot be solved in polynomial time. That's actually not known. Um, it is thought that that's the case. Um, and it may be, at some point, somebody will uh, show um, that you can't solve these. These really are harder. They're merely thought, right now, they're thought to be harder. However, um, I think it is an insurance policy. Let me, t let me tell you why it's an insurance policy. Um, a, lot, a, a ton of super smart people have worked on all these problems. And now all of these things are banded together, as you would do in insurance. You, you band them all together. You band a whole bunch of things together. So what would happen is, if tomorrow somebody, probably a Russian, <laughs> proves p equals np, OK? So meaning, in fact, you can solve all these problems, it, then it means uh, it, it would indeed be embarrassing for a lot of a lot of people. Um, however, the embarrassment is amortized across a huge. It's you could say people come to you and say, "Yeah, you went, went around and made a big deal about convex pol their polynomial time, you know, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "Don't look at me. Look at all the other super smart. I mean, not other. Uh, look at all the other people who, you know." So basically, the embarrassment is spread across a great swath of of people. Basically, a lot of people in computer science and stuff like that. And so. It's an insurance policy. But it is, th it is thought that they're really hard. But if they're not, you're in very good company with the people uh, who also thought they were hard. Does that make any sense? What? It's just like in its own kind of field. It's not proved to be. 
certain. It's not like mathematically proved to be a non-polynomial. That's right. It's just it, it has it. That's why it's still an open conjecture, right? And it, by the way, it could show up. This could, there'll be some. I mean, if in fact it turns out that these are tech are theoretically not hard, the constant in front could end up being huge or whatever, and that would also blunt the embarrassment. But in any case, the embarrassment is spread across a lot of people. Okay. That's okay, because that's a, that's a topic. And we'll, we'll come back to that topic several times in the class. But, okay. 